Bill Waltman Digger. Here's Muhammad Ali. The people, the places, the achievements. If life were a blank canvas, then legendary Notre Dame basketball coach Richard Digger Phelps is a master of paint by numbers. There's a UCLA game ball. During his 20 seasons under the dome, as head coach, Digger won 393 games and led Notre Dame to their only Final Four appearance in 1978. Bill Walton actually does this to Wooden on the bench. Signals for timeout, he didn't do it. Digger stepped away from the game in 1991 and stepped into the broadcasting booth, where the New York native thrived and was best known for his matching tie highlighter combinations. But after retiring from hoops. 15 paintings from this year, because this is a brand new one. It was coincidence that led this colorful coach from the court. This is where it starts. To the canvas. In the early 70s, uh, went to London, then to Paris, and saw live and in color Van Gogh. And I became a Van Gogh freak. And as it turned out, on a trip to New York, a run-in with another legendary name would prove to be paramount for this future painter. As I'm riding on the bus, I see Leroy Neiman and his wife Janet sitting in the two seats by themselves. The famous American Leroy Neiman, who was best known for his expressionist, colorful paintings depicting sports and famous figures. So I told Leroy that I said, you know, I'm on the rules committee for the NCAA, and I'm bored at those meetings. So I sketch French vineyards. He says, well, why don't you paint? I said, paint? He said, yeah, you just take a paint. Digger came back to South Bend and with the help of a local artist, painted his first masterpiece. And then in five or six more, I shipped them to New York for Leroy to see. And I took two bottles of white wine up to West 67th State, where he lived there, Hotel Day Arts. And we talked about my artwork for 15 minutes, and then we talked about the world and drank the wine for two hours. But I never stopped from that moment on. For a quarter century now, the former coach paints two pieces a month, from April to November, in this makeshift studio, built above his garage. Mountains, sunsets. The Van Gogh influence. And skies, drawing that influence from a different part of the world. Maybe about 15 years ago, I said, I gotta paint in France. If it's Matisse in Nice, Van Gogh in Arles, it's going to be Degas, not D-E-G-A-S, the French ballerina painter, D-I-G-G-E-R, who's going to paint in saint jean Ferrat. Digger paints three a year there and ships them home. Most of my paintings have orange in them, you know, and then maybe blue is the next color, and then maybe some green, purple, yellow. Um, and then you'd offset it by blending. I always said this about paint. Anybody can paint. It's in all of us, but we're scared because of all the great artists. Who paints Digger Phelps' life, and what does it look like? It'd have to be a lot of stars in the sky with a lot of different concepts out there. A Van Gogh-inspired starry night representing his life's work. I think the sky's gonna be dark, and I think the, the stars are gonna be, you know, bright, whatever. But that's the only way to define my life, is how there isn't any rock unturned. A masterpiece not born out of numbers, but created because of the colorful, impressionist, and the personality behind this palette. And there's a the warmth of the spring sun giving bloom to Mother Nature. As we get through that, there's Leroy and Digger.